The first thing you do when you come in is turn on the main disconnect. Next, you turn on the main FRL, supplying air to the machine. Next, you turn on the control circuit, make sure the emergency stop is pulled out, making sure that the emergency e-stop on the frame is pulled out. Start the main power. Look at the light board to confirm that all systems are up and running. Wait for the computer to load up. Caval Chem will load on its own. Now the machine is ready to be homed. You can look in the status bar, it tells you waiting to start home sequence. Home the machine. Once the machine has been homed, you can go into libraries, pick the door job that you would like to do, confirm that it's the right size door and the right door thickness, load it into the queue. Now you're ready to load a door. Next, bring the door into position, bring down your door stop. Place the door up against the fence and the door stop. Clamp the door. Start the sequence. You can also use the soft keys on this touch screen. Toggle the door stop, toggle the door clamp, and start the sequence. After you finish the lock side, you'll get a window that says using the fixed stop. Now you can spin the door around and start the hinge work. There's also an indicator light on the main Z-Tag. Now you can spin the door around. And start the hinge side process. Start the sequence.
As you can see, it starts with a counter rotate router. Once the cycle is completed, it'll unclamp the door. When changing from one door size to another, go into your libraries, pick a new size, add it to your queue. It'll come up with your new door stop location. You must move your door stop before you're allowed to start your sequence. You must physically move your stop to its new location using your indicator. All the way to the hard stop is your zero. It can also be at any increment depending on what the program needs you to move the stop to. Once you physically moved your stop, toggle your door clamp and start the sequence. If you haven't moved your clamp, it'll ask you, okay, confirm that you've made that move. Now you can start the sequence. The reset button will reset the machine from any state. The setup mode off button will allow you to toggle back and forth and the tools will not extend while running. The door finish button will end the job. The edge toggle will toggle between the lock edge of the door and the hinge edge of the door. It will also change which stop you're using, whether it's the fixed stop or the movable stop. Toggling between the lock edge and the hinge edge, the light will flash on the one that's allocated. While the machine is running, you can change the speed at which it is running to accommodate different kinds of material or if the bit is getting dull. You can also stop the machine and it'll hold in that position until you hit the speed that you're desired to run. From the main menu, you can transfer over to the manual servo control. You can go forward or reverse, Y axis, up or down, or the Z in and out. Be careful doing so, because the machine will allow you to go in a direction that could be dangerous to the tooling or to equipment around you. Start by exiting out and shutting down the machine. Wait for the screen to say it's safe to turn off the computer. Once the screen says it's safe to shut off, go ahead and shut off the main control circuit. Next, turn off your main disconnect. 